Russian forces in Crimea have been focused with the aid of a clean drone strike. The Russian appointed regional leader said a Ukrainian drone targeting Russia's Black Sea Fleet in the city of Sevastopol was shot down on Saturday. It follows a string of assaults on Russian forces and installations in the annexed peninsula this month. Meanwhile Ukraine's president has welcomed a deal allowing UN inspectors to visit the Russian-held Zaporizhzhia nuclear plant. In addition north. Early on Saturday a video showed smoke rising from the place in Sevastopol the place. Russia's Black Sea Fleet is based. The BBC News has no longer been capable to independently verify the footage. The Russian installed governor, Mikhail Razvoryev, performed down the seriousness of the incident. He stated, the fleet's air defenses had been activated and the Ukrainian drone destroyed. It fell on the roof of the headquarters. He said, there used to be no big damage and no one was once hurt. Later on Saturday, Mr. Razvoryev said anti-aircraft systems had again been in operation in Sevastopol, but gave no details. Several drone attacks have been pronounced in Crimea in latest days, along with one on an airbase near Sevastopol on Thursday and some other on the harbor on Friday. Earlier in the month 9, Russian jets have been destroyed in an assault on the Russian Navy base at Saki, on Crimea's western coast. Footage on social media at the time showed crowds of Russian tourists fleeing a nearby resort. Crimea was invaded and annexed with the aid of Russia in 2014. And Ukraine has vowed to retake it. However the Kyiv government has no longer validated or denied involvement in the recent attacks. Moscow has blamed sabotage for some of them, indicating some sort of exclusive military operation perhaps by means of Ukrainian forces, or those loyal to Kyiv. Western officers say these incidents are having a predominant operational and psychological have an effect on on Russian forces. In some other other development, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky stated, the protection of the Zaporizhzhia nuclear plant ought to start to be restored with a visit of global inspectors. He was speaking after Russia's Vladimir Putin stated Moscow would provide UN inspectors get admission to to the facility north of Crimea. The Kremlin and Kyiv have blamed each different for shelling the plant over the previous week raising fears of a nuclear catastrophe. Meanwhile Russia has pressed on with its tactic of in a single day shelling of cities, targeting Kharkiv, Dnipro and Mykolaiv, among others. And the Russian installed mayor of Mariupol reportedly survived an assassination attempt. A Russian country TV reporter said the mayor, Kostyantin Ivashchenko, used to be in a auto when an explosive machine went off at the entrance to the city's zoo. Also on Saturday, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres held a press conference in Turkey after some other two grain ships left Ukraine. He said he had been deeply moved, staring at a ship carrying grain heading to the Horn of Africa and that such deliveries furnished urgently wished relief for those struggling from acute hunger. The safe passage of the vessels has been enabled through UN brokered offers with Turkey, Russia and Ukraine remaining month. Mr. Guterres delivered that enabling the transport of food and fertilizer from Russia is also indispensable as the value of living disaster deepens.